Hey, we're here with Crystal Keenest, and she has led a couple ministries, and we're just talking about um, multiplication thinking this week, and Crystal's been uh, someone that has embodied that. Uh, mm. Crystal is is moving on soon, hopefully. Yeah. Not that we want to be rid of you, but we want to bless you. We'll and see what happens. Where you want to go to? She's moving to Iowa, so um, she's leaving ministries mm -hmm. in a better state than they were in the the beginning and through through even the pandemic and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, first of all, you've led uh, Refit. You started and and led Refit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. do you want to tell a little bit about that? Yeah. So Refit. Um, Actually, you're the one who told me about Refit. I said I wanted to do an active fit Bible study. I did one here for like a, a eight week thing, but then you actually introduced me to Refit, and the it's just a movement class, fitness class, and we are just getting women together, community, and so that's where my heart is really at. It's just passionate about getting women to worship with their body, minds, and soul. So using Refit to do that and uh, just encouraging women to come together and having free childcare because I am a, a mom <laughs> and need that time. So it was really uh, kind of heavy on my heart. So I wanted to do that and wasn't sure what that was going to look like, completely terrified of starting something like that. But then uh, people started coming, and that was really exciting. And just uh, and people liked it, and I I wanted to to grow. I didn't want it to just be me. I wanted it to be God, and I felt like this was totally Him using me. So I just wanted to just keep loving up on people, and I guess that started a spark of other people wanting to do that. And uh, like Courtney Turk is our main person now who's doing doing the refit ministry and we have a total of five uh, instructors five and, instructors yeah so six if you include me and i plan on still doing things when i move to iowa this year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ah, so then uh, everyone just kind of comes together we even during the pandemic we were doing outdoor workouts we we're trying to do zoom, zoom workouts and even just doing the community online even if we couldn't physically be with each other, mm -hmm. but just trying to connect with one another and then just encouraging and uplifting. So like I encouraged like Courtney and two other women and then life happened and they had to step down. But because uh, of them being an encouragement and a light, they got more people to come and, and we just got a new instructor. That's our like latest instructor just got uh, certified just a couple months ago and she led a few classes for the first time two weeks ago. Yeah. So the idea is that it started out with one one leader, mm -hmm. one class, and then that leader trained other leaders, mm -hmm. and those leaders have trained other leaders yeah. for other classes. So now that mm -hmm. we're not only doing it here, we're doing it in in Allen, there, Belfer, Yeah, and so now Belfer. it's like we're at other churches too, and just trying to encourage any of the women here, like anyone who wants to do that like we will equip them and help them and just encourage them to to do that because yeah it's bigger than us it's not just about what i can do it's about what all of us can do and just sharing god's love in ways that are our passion yeah and then also with we started with mops mm -hmm. um but that kind of morphed into key moms mm -hmm. um in the middle of you know the pandemic unfolding yeah. and we we realized we weren't going to be able to meet together in one big group and what was the answer for that we did key moms so instead of mops moms of preschoolers and great program like that that was mm -hmm. a big thing that i was like i love it but we weren't sure what that was going to look like and then just having a little more financial freedom and flexibility to make it more intimate so which actually did a lot more multiplying and helping people get more involved because it's like, I need mentor moms and hosts to open up their homes during a pandemic who are comfortable with that, with outside and doing what worked for our community. So we ended up having, um, instead of meeting here once a month, we uh, meet in other people's homes, eight homes total that the meetings in September of 2020 and, uh, yeah. So we went from one one big group to eight eight small groups. Smaller groups. Mm -hmm. And would you say that the numbers we have 
it's not all about the numbers, but the numbers we have of people attending those groups is equal to yeah. or it's it's pretty equal but it's a lot more intimate and there's a lot more involvement and there's more not just monthly connection but more weekly daily connection with those people yeah and there's a lot more uh and like they feel comfortable inviting more people coming in so and i always think of like the lunch room you know yeah the cafeteria like what table i'm gonna sit at and it's kind of scary being like, I don't really want to put myself in that position. But when your good friend's like, hey, will you come with me to this my friend's house? And we're just going to chat and get together and connect with other moms. Like, that's a lot more comfortable. That's certainly good. Mm -hmm. um, so you've certainly left uh, mops key moms with more leaders and hosts oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and then we began with and more people are engaged and serving mm -hmm. uh because of what we had to do to retool for for the pandemic because I, I, I needed help because yeah. i couldn't do it myself and i was like i really need help i don't know what i'm doing and i felt yeah same thing of like god put this on my heart and just reaching out to the people i know here because we have a great church we have wonderful people with great skills and i only have a limited amount of skills and <laughs> I needed help with technology. I needed help with people with like hospitality. Cause I was like, I'm just really good at hanging out and loving people. Like that's yeah. my, kid. <laughs> but actual like coordination was not my jam. So I just needed to make a bunch of coordinators and just give, give that to them. And so now uh, Hannah Pernu is taking it. And I know that she's going to grow it even more. And she has plans of, um, doing a lot more outreach. And so that's really exciting. And so just, I don't know, kind of putting a light on every person and just all of us, like, yeah, God's given us all of these gifts and just kind of recognizing that and just being like, you, you're really good at this. Yeah. Come. <laughs> I need you because <laughs> I'm not good at that. <laughs> well, we appreciate your multiplication thinking that you weren't just thinking about um, survival or getting through, but you're thinking about equipping people yeah so that we can serve the most people, the, the most people, the people that God yeah. has mm -hmm. called us to, to serve, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just encouraging them, so thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, awesome. Awesome.